Hi, this is Presh Hawker, and welcome to the Mind Your Decisions channel. Today I want to discuss sports betting and a guaranteed way that you can win on any sport that does not end in a tie. A small disclaimer is that I don't encourage gambling of any kind or sports betting. This video is only meant to illustrate some cool math. But it will be a cool technique. You can use this to have a guaranteed win on the NFL Super Bowl the NBA Finals, the Wimbledon Championships, or any tennis Grand Slam. You can use it for the World Series of Cricket. Uh, you could even use it for Olympic curling. Like I said, you can really use this method to get a guaranteed win on any number of sports as long as they don't end in a tie. The only uh, prerequisite is that you're going to need two friends who are willing to accept reasonable gambles that is gambles they think that are actually in their favor. So how is this going to work? Uh, we'll set up an example where there are two teams A and B that are going to play and you have two friends who are fans of different teams. So you, one of your friends A is a fan of team A and he just thinks they're going to crush uh, team B. He thinks there's a three and fourth chance that that his team is going to win. Now, friend B really thinks that his team uh, is, is much superior, and he thinks there's a three-fifth chance uh, that his team will win. So you have two friends who both think that their team is going to win. This happens all the time. Is uh, So what what can you do? This is, this is a normal situation, and you can take advantage of this to make a very favorable situation for yourself. So what you need to do is you need to set up bets with each of the friends uh, as, as follows. Uh, with friend A, you're going to pay them $4 if their team wins, and they pay you $5 if their team loses. Uh, with friend B, you set up a very similar bet. Uh, you pay them if they're $4 if their team wins, uh, and they're going to pay you $5 if their team loses. So you have a situation where you're going to pay each friend if their team wins, they're going to pay you a little more if their team loses. Uh, but we, we can't just say that both of these friends are going to accept these bets just because you offer them. Uh, we're going to go through the math to show that each friend actually thinks this is a good bet for them. So we'll start out with friend A, uh, who thinks his team has a three-fourths chance to win. So the friend's going to think about the bet in terms of the expected value. This is uh, mathematically the, uh, you know, they're either going to be the events that team A wins and team A loses, and uh, the person's going to have to pay out certain amounts in each situation. So the expected value is the amount the friend has to, wins if team A wins, which is $4, times this friend thinks this will have a three-fourths chance of happening. Uh, we will add to that, they will have to pay out $5 in uh, the one in four situation where their team loses. So when we run through the numbers, this bet, you know, friend A views this bet as having a positive $1.75 expected value. This is a tremendously high expected value. It means they're winning $1.75 on average, you know, all Vegas bets, uh, uh, you know, all other, most gambles in life, uh, maybe there will be a little positive expected value. Uh, in actual casinos, most of the bets are negative. So this is actually a hugely positive expected value. And uh, for that reason, you would expect that friend A is going to want to accept this gamble. We will do a very similar calculation for friend B. Uh, the only difference here is that that friend B has, has a different belief. They think that their team B has a three-fifths chance to win. Uh, regardless, when we run through this expected value, uh, friend B is going to see, uh, expect a positive 40 cents on the bet. Again, this is a positive expected value. It, it's not as good a bet for friend B as it is for friend A. Uh, that really doesn't matter. If you see a bet which has a positive expected value, that still means it's in your favor. And uh, 
we would expect that friend B is also going to want to accept this gamble. So now both friend A and B are willing participants. You're not trying to con them in any way. They both think that you've offered them a good bet. Uh, but what you've done is actually created a situation where you can always win. You, uh, and we'll, see, we'll go through the diagram of why this is. Um, the top branch is what happens when team A wins. In that case, you're going to pay uh, $4 to friend A, but then friend B pays you $5. So on net, that means you net a positive $1 if team A wins. In another circumstance, if team B wins, you are going to win $5 from friend A, and then you're going to have to pay out $4 to friend B. But still, this means you're going to have $1 left over for yourself. So either way, no matter what happens, you are guaranteed to win $1, and you've offered your friends bets they're willing to take. So you've created a situation of perfect bets where you are always going to win, and that is the guaranteed way of winning on sports betting. So you can think about how to use this in practice. Uh, it will, you know, your friends are going to have different beliefs about the games. You'll have to set up the bets differently. Uh, if your two friends find out about this, they may not necessarily be happy that you keep winning. So whether you can actually do this over and over again, uh, like I said, I don't recommend gambling or sports betting of any kind. But this is a useful concept, and I will mention this is somewhat how uh, sports betting works in Vegas and other uh, gambling houses. They do set up situations where uh, not necessarily for one game they're always going to win, but over time, they hope that, you know, over several different games, uh, they create an edge for themselves in the house. And uh, it, it's obviously much more complicated, but that is somewhat the principle of how uh, sports betting works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow the Mind Your Decisions blog. I post weekly puzzles on Monday, weekly game theory posts on Tuesday. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Presh Talwalker.